Hello, Bob here, KM6IKH, founder of NextGen, Hotspots, and lead engineer as well. Uh, I'm going to go over a little few things here, keep it under five minutes. Uh, this is a Woody right here, and some of the important things about this particular build that everyone needs to know, we use one quarter inch, one quarter inch, all of this, one quarter inch cast acrylic. It's the best acrylic you can buy. It not only is it etched very nice and very cleanly, it's a very, very hard acrylic. Uh, at the bottom, these cases are designed for convection flow from scratch, from day one. They have to convection flow correctly. So we have the heat sink here, and you also notice this side of the case is wide open. This is wide open, and even on the back, right under here is wide open. This was designed this way specifically for convection airflow. And it's very, very important that these cases flow correctly. If you'll see some of the cases, I'll just give you a good example over at C4 Labs. They're blocked off in the front. At least they used to be. Maybe they'll see this video and smarten up. But they block the case off in the front. And the connect convection airflow is also inhibited by layers in here. Why do I know that? We used to use them for the first six weeks we were in business. I had a nightmare of a time modifying those cases, not designed by anybody that knew anything about electronics cooling. So the, also on the case, you'll notice here, all of the hardware is stainless steel. These are stainless steel Allen heads and eight stainless steel bolts on the bottom as well. Of course, with the little rubber feet to protect whatever surface it's laying upon. These hats also, these hats are not off of eBay. We don't buy that rubbish. We did in the beginning for the first two months, and we learned. These hats are made for us in China. You won't see our name or our logo or insignia on them, and there's a legal reason we're not going to do that. But these hats are made in China. They are made specifically for us. That's why our hats don't have any problems. If they do, we'll replace them immediately. Uh, same goes with these screens. Uh, there's about five different levels of these OLED screens. How do I know? Because we had all five levels, and the four levels under this are garbage. They're just absolute rubbish. These are the best ones you can get. Uh, they come out of China, Hong Kong area, and these are the best. Number one, uh, we have very, very few problems with these, uh, virtually none, less than 1%, in which we gen typically will catch that here, and it'll never go into a customer's machine. Uh, once in a blue moon, one will go out in a customer, they send it back in, we replace it, obviously free of charge. Uh, the motherboards we use right here are the Raspberry Pi 3Bs. Uh, these are actually made uh, either by Embest or by Sony over in the UK. They're phenomenal, phenomenal boards. Very, very consistent boards. Never had any issue with uh, any of these boards. Anyways, uh, Bobby, KM6IKH, uh, just wanted to go over some of the highlights and some of the reasons why a next-gen hotspot is factually the best, highest quality, most versatile, flexible hotspot on the market, period, hands down. No one else even comes close. So uh, with that said, and this particular unit right here, it goes to a gentleman in Norway. We just built this today. I thought it was a great example for me to uh, go over some of the quality of these builds. Anyways, Bobby, KM6IKH, I want to thank you for uh, stopping in. Appreciate your time, and have a great day. 73 from Bobby, founder at the NextGen Electronics Lab and NextGen Hotspots. 73.